Hey everyone and welcome to Dozen of Tech. I'm Daniel and I'm also back. There we go. Welcome back. I'm, I'm back to making videos. So I literally just finished with my finals. So yeah, here I am. And what can I say? June is going to be a really, really busy month. So stay tuned for a lot of videos. As you probably know, WWDC has just ended, well, basically three days ago. But since they haven't announced any new hardware, I haven't made a WWDC recap video. But let me know anyway if you want me to do a really, really detailed video of what Apple announced at this WWDC. Let me know in the comment section down below. But to keep it short, three major things. So first one was Swift, which is basically a new programming language designed by Apple. It's really, really impressive. Let me know in the comment section down below once again if you want me to make a special video just for that. But yeah, Swift is number one. The number two is the new OS 10 or OS 10 10.10, which is Yosemite. Yeah, that's the new OS 10.10. And it's basically a completely redesigned operating system to have an iOS 7-ish look. So it looks a lot like iOS 7 now. It looks amazing, really stylish, really sexy, and it comes with a lot of new features. And besides OS 10.10, they also announced and basically released iOS 8, so the new version of mobile operating system. Now iOS 8 is basically iOS 7, looks exactly like iOS 7, although you have a lot of new features, a lot of under the hood features, which were not present in iOS 7. Now the good news is that iOS 8, both iOS 8 and OS 10.10 will be free. Yeah, you don't have to pay to get them, they're free, and you can get them starting this fall. This fall, which means September or October. So yes, yeah, so you'll have to wait a couple of months to get them. Unless you are a registered developer. If you are a registered developer, you can get your hands on iOS 8 and OS 10.10 right now, like right now. But the bad news is that you have to pay $100 or 60 pounds to be a registered developer. So there you go, this is why I'm making this video because in this video I'm going to show you how to get your hands on iOS 8 and basically OS 10.10, but this video will be focused on iOS 8. So how to get iOS 8 on your iOS device without being a registered developer. So basically get it now and for free without having to pay a thing. So let's, let's have a look. Okay, so first off, you need a device which can actually run iOS 8. So you need an iPhone 4S or a newer iPhone. So unfortunately, Apple dropped iPhone 4 support. Now for an iPad, surprisingly, it works on all iPads except the first generation iPad. So if you have an iPad 2 or a newer iPad, so iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, iPad Air, iPad Mini and an iPad Mini with Retro Display, it is going to run really well for you. So there you go. And for the iPod Touch, you need a fifth generation iPod Touch because there's no newer iPod Touch which supports this. The only iPod Touch which supports iOS 8 is the iPod Touch fifth generation. So if you have a fourth generation, then you're kind of out of luck. So yeah. Okay, so step one is to back up your iOS device. So you can do this via iTunes or iCloud, but I highly suggest doing both of them just in case something goes wrong. Step two is to connect your device to your computer and launch iTunes. Step number three is to go to this website. Now, don't worry about it. I've included a link in the description and download the iOS 8 version, which matches your device. Now, keep in mind that some devices have multiple iOS 8 versions for different device models. So what you have to do is look at the back of your phone and take a look at the model number and then simply download the version which matches your model number. Step number four is pretty straightforward. So what you have to do is simply go to your zip file, what you've downloaded before basically, and unzip that file. So unzip that file and you will get the IPSW, the iOS 8 IPSW. And go back to iTunes, go to your device and what you want to do now is restore your device. So after your device has been successfully restored, go through the activation process and activate it. Keep in mind that if you have an iPhone, you would also need a valid SIM card to activate it. After that, go to iTunes again and hold the Alt or Option key on a Mac or Shift on Windows and click Update while holding that key. Now do not click Restore, don't click it because it will break your phone. So Update, not Restore. So go ahead and click Update while holding the Option key once again on a Mac or the Shift key on a Windows and then select your iOS 8 IPSW and then simply wait for your device to update. Now, after a few minutes, you'll get a message from iTunes telling you that your device has been successfully updated to iOS 8. So as soon as you see this message, go ahead and disconnect your device from the computer because otherwise you will get it bricked. That's because iTunes will check to see if the device, if your device was registered as a developer device and if it wasn't, you will get it bricked. So unplug it, disconnect it as soon as you see that message. Oh, and one more thing, don't forget not to reconnect your device running iOS 8 to iTunes because once again it will break your device. So if you're running iOS 8 beta 1 
which you will probably will after this video, don't connect it to iTunes again because you will have it break. But don't worry about that, I will make a video probably even today explaining how to unbreak your brick device in case something goes wrong and you do get it bricked. So don't worry about that, even if you do get it bricked, I, I got you covered. Okay, so now simply wait for your device to finish updating on its own and voila, you're on iOS 8, there you go. You have successfully installed iOS 8 on your iOS device. And you guessed it, the final step, step number five, is to simply enjoy using iOS 8. Now, keep in mind that the reason why this is called a beta, iOS 8 beta, and not the iOS 8 final version, is because it's, it's a beta. It's not a final version, and it's buggy. It's really buggy, you will have performance issues, you will have lag, you will have battery issues and even more issues. Let me know in the comment section down below how iOS 8 runs for you, if you have any you know, battery issues, performance issues, and if you do, let me know if you want me to do a downgrade video showing you how to downgrade, how to go back from iOS 8 to iOS 7. Let me know in the comment section down below. And also keep in mind that this is the first version of iOS 8 beta, so the next version is going to be better, the next one is going to be even better and so on, up until the final release, which is going to be in September. So this is basically the worst it can get. So yeah, there we go, this was basically it. This was my tutorial showing you how to install iOS 8 beta 1 for free without having to pay $100 for a developer ID. So there you go, this was basically it. Thank you all for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Zone of Tech because I have a lot of iOS 8 videos coming up soon and a lot of tech videos, a lot of them. So yeah, thank you all for watching this video, I'm Daniel and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, you know, like as always, Zone of Tech, signing out. Cheers.